Hi there, uh, just a quick demo on what we can do with Fusion Off and WordPress. So just a little introduction to our setup here. Um, we have Fusion Off running inside of Docker um, with three WordPress instances set up, all A, B, and C here. And I'm logged into each one in the admin. Um, I'm also running two browsers, Chrome and Safari. Um, Chrome, I'll be kind of showing you around Fusion Off and what it's like for me logged in as WordPress admin. And on Safari, we'll be doing logins as guest users and things like that that will create through Fusion Auth. So for each of our WordPresses, we have created an application inside of Fusion Auth. Um, an application within Fusion Auth is really something that a user can log into. It has its own settings, its own roles, and then we assign users to roles within the application to give them access. And as you can see here, if we go into WordPress A, and we can manage the roles and we've got administrator, author, contributor, editor, subscriber. And then on the flip side, we've got users. And at the moment we've just got myself because I'm the admin, so I've set myself up. And now what we want to do is add a new user to Fusion Auth. So let's go ahead and add Dan um, at Fusion Auth. Com. And I don't think that's Dan's real email address. And um, we're not going to email Dan to set up a password today, but we will just throw in a nice secure password there for Dan. We're not going to talk about um, any of our other options here. Um, we can go into that in more detail if you want later on, but for now, we're just going to set up a really basic profile. Okay, so we've got Dan at Fusion Auth. Here's the source for his user. Now let's pop over to the registrations panel here. Um, a registration is what connects a user to an application. So let's add a uh, registration. Let's add Dan to WordPress A as an administrator. And we'll save that. And we'll add another registration. Dan doesn't need to do so much inside of WordPress B, so we'll just add him as a contributor. Great. So we've got WordPress A, WordPress B, set up as an administrator and a contributor. So this is our WordPress A. We'll just check the admin bar. Definitely WordPress A. Give it a refresh. You can be a wee bit slow because we're running it behind a proxy with Docker. It can take a while to build out that cache. Great. I'm the only, only admin in there at the moment. So let's swap out to Safari. Bring up a new window. Great. And we're presented with the login screen for this WordPress instance. Um, Dan, the user we want to add. FusionAuth.com, super secret password for Dan. And let's hit login. No, we don't want to remember Dan's password. And lo and behold, straight in there, we've added Dan as a as a new user inside of this WordPress install. Let's hit that user's table. There we see Dan FusionAuth, um, not set any in, but he's also been added as an administrator. So that worked exactly as we had hoped. Dan has been added as administrator because we had allowed him to be because of his Fusion Auth account. Now let's jump across to WordPress B. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Down at FusionAuth.com. Fill in his very secure password. We'll log in again. No, we don't wanna save his password. And lo and behold, Dan has been added once again. And um, this time with a few few less um, permissions, let's say. And you can't quite see that user table, but that's fine. So we'll just nip back to Chrome quickly into WordPress B. We'll do a quick refresh there. And there we go. We can see we've got Dan at FusionAuth.com. He's been added as a contributor, just as we could sort of set up in the FusionAuth rules. Um, now, this is a bigger site. We're gonna need some more help. Um, so I'm going to add Coral. Coral's um, our marketing manager at Powered by Coffee. So let's add Coral. Um, it's not Coral's real email address, thank goodness. Show password. Um, we need to know this password for now. Yes, it's very weak. We'll just set up a quick demo password. And we want Coral to be an administrator. And yes, I confirm our use of a weak password. So let's add that user. Grip Coral is now added to WordPress B within WordPress. Let's quickly jump back over to Fusion Auth and check our users. 
here we go, coral, you can see has been added. Let's check her out. Um, and there we go, she's been added to WordPress B as an administrator and therefore can access WordPress B as an administrator. Um, so the, the applications we've shown you so far and um, WordPress A and B are set up using the direct manipulation API. So we can call um, REST endpoints to create users, to authenticate users, manage users, set, create applications, set rules and things like that. Uh, FusionAuth also lets us do uh, single sign-on, where FusionAuth takes over the user login process as well. So just let me quickly swap back to Safari. Great. Um, and where we have WordPress C. So we'll hit up our normal WordPress admin login. Great. Except in this case, we don't necessarily want to do that. Um, we've added a new endpoint to the WordPress rewrite system slash login, which is going to take us to C where FusionAuth has taken over the admin entirely. So the user we just created for Coral, coral at bbc.io with her super secure password. Um, and we'll try login now. Don't want to see that. And Oh dear, it looks like we've got a bit of a problem where Coral isn't registered to access this application. So let's check out what's up with our account here. Okay, let's refresh it, make sure we've definitely got the most recent version. Okay, so we can see she's registered with WordPress B, but not WordPress C. So let's add her as the administrator to WordPress C. And let's see if that, okay, so we can see WordPress B and WordPress C. Let's flip back over to Safari. Um, where we will go to our login page again. And all of a sudden, Coral has access to WP Admin. The single sign-on, um, FusionAuth provides kicked in whenever we try to access the login page again. It already knew who she was, but we've updated her permissions this time. So she's able to access WordPress C as the administrator. Um, so as you can see, there's, there's lots can be done here with FusionAuth, and this is really just touching the basics of managing identity. Um, with both the REST API that they provide and the single sign-on and OAuth APIs. There's plenty more that could be done. But thank you for watching.